Hello friends, this is Astrologer Manish once again and thank you for watching my videos about Vedic Astrology. Now in this video I will show you what are the house combinations, what are the houses which activates multiple love, sexual, physical relationships in someone's life. And this leads to extramarital affairs also, adultery also. So if you understand the house combinations, when they have been activated by the planets, the planets activates those desires in your mind. And that desires can be manifested if the nakshatras are also saying yes to those desires. So how you see that? It's a very important topic. Many clients, many friends, they reach out to me that they are into extramarital affairs or in multiple physical affairs. Why it's happening with them? Or how to see in someone's chart that there's a probability. So I'm going to share my screen with you as I always do and then see what I'm going to show you in the few of the charts what I'm going to share here with you in this case study. So this is a chart of Princess Diana and again if you don't know about her you can go and google her name and you can see about her life, read about her, a well-known celebrity. So if you bring her love life here I'm going to bring the love in my software. You see what houses the planets have activated. And again, this is the complete script of Ketu. This is Venus. When we read the planets, we read the nakshatras and the sublords also. This is called the complete Nadi. In Vedic astrology, the complete Nadi of the planet. Nadi means the planet which activates your desires. And then the, the nakshatras which manifests those desires and then the sub lord which is the ninth division of the nakshatras he talks about the experiences of those desires so this is the complete channel of a planet once it gets activated if you see what are they are activating to understand the complete script of the planet you can easily understand why this person is this way why these person are behaving acting or getting this results in their life so again, coming to this topic of love, you see Ketu has activated 5 at 12. Venus is doing 5 at 12. Now what is 5 at 12 means? The combination of 5 at 12 means 5 is a house of love, romance, passion, desires. Earth is house of intimacy, secrecy, underground activity. And 12th is house of your fantasies, dream world, and also the pleasures of your bed. So the combination of 5 at 12 leads to multiple love affairs which are secret and which are physically intimate relationships. Ketu is activating, Venus is activating, Sun is activating, <clears throat> Moon is activating, Mars is activating. Rahu is activating, Jupiter is activating, Mercury is activating, and Saturn is neutral. So in Princess Diana's chart, out of 9 planets, 8 are activating 5, 8, 12 combination of love, romance, intimacy, hidden, secrecy, fantasies, bad pleasures. Whenever these planets will come into the Mahadashas or Antardashas, they will activate those desires and if the nakshatras are saying yes to those desires and the sublords are showing the experience of those desires, these desires will be manifested in someone's life as being into an extramarital affair, love affair, intimate affair, secret affair. Now this is a chart of Princess Diana. I'm going to share one more chart of, you know, one of my client. Again, the names are being hidden here. But if you see this chart also, and she has admitted to be in a, in a physical relationship outside of her, her marriage, and you can see very easily, again, we're going to see her love life. And you can see easily, if you understand how to read the combination of houses, you see here again, 5 at 12, 5 at 12, she's going into the Mercury Dasha. And Mercury Dasha is showing 5 8, 12 is being activated. So again, she is vulnerable, and that's the reason she's into a multiple 
love affairs or physical affairs, secret affairs. But if you see overall chart, Ketu is showing 5 at 12, uh, Venus has 5 at 12, love and then you know some fantasies. Rahu is 5 at 12, Jupiter 5 at 12, Saturn 5 at 12, and Mercury 5 at 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Almost six planets, including Venus, are showing a vulnerability or desire of having a physical affair with someone. And this is what it leads for someone to get into multiple relationship or extramarital relationship also. I can open one more chart here. Let's see Chelsea's chart. Again, the names are you know hidden here because of the privacy of my clients. But normally, if you start reading the charts the way I'm showing you, that how you connect the house combinations, you will see easily that how easy it is to depict someone's life, their desires, their path, and where they will be putting their free will also based on what planets are activating in their life. So in Chelsea's chart, you see, and she's again into multiple love affairs. See, 5 at 12, 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 5 at 12 and uncontrollable. Now, this is the combination using the Nadi astrology. But in classic Vedic astrology also, if you see the condition of Venus, okay, normally if Venus sits with Mars, conjunct with Mars, or respected by Mars in the cuspid chart, people have a higher libidos. They have a higher sexual desires. If Venus is sitting with Saturn or mutually respected by Saturn, they are, pe they are the people who are not very keen in, in multiple relationships or any sexual relationships. Their sexual life will be dull because Saturn makes everything dull. Okay? And again, if Rahu is respecting Venus or Rahu sits with Venus, your passion and desire for sexual life, for relationship, intimacy will be skyrocketing. So those are the concepts of classic Vedic astrology. There are many other you know, combinations and conjunctions. We can see the health of Venus, the strength of Venus, the shadwal of Venus, who is respecting, who is conjunct with it. There are many ways you can see someone's desire of you know, higher sex drive or higher degree of relationships. But in Nadi astrology, if you understand the combination of houses, which I just shared with you, especially in all these charts, what I just shown you, and look at the Princess Diana chart again, you can easily, easily understand why the person got, you know, into multiple relationships, into multiple physical relationships so easily. Here it is. 5 at 12. 5 a 12. The combination is all about love, intimacy and being into their fantasy world. Now, if you see 5 at 12 in your charts and you are doing something 5 at 12 activities, which could be providing solutions in the matters of pain management and doing some research, then with your free will, you are activating 5 at 12 in other than the matters of physical or intimate relationships. So if you, if you have 5 at 12 in your chart and you don't want to get into a physical intimate relationship, then you the best way is you can become an engineer, somebody who is providing solutions to others in the field of you know, research, occult science, physiotherapy, maybe an astrologer also, and doing a lot of research. So that 5 at 12 means that you are working in the field of pain management, providing solutions, and you're doing a lot of research, sleeping late at night. So that means you are not getting into a physical or intimate relationships. But overall, if you understand how planet works, and this is what I always explain, planets are the cosmic bodies which activates your desires. Now those desires will be activated based on the house combinations, like for marriage, 2, 7, 11, for divorce, 1, 6, 10, for you know, love affair, 5, 8, 12, recently shown in this example. Now whatever the planets are activating, those are the desires. Now desires are delivered by the nakshatras. If nakshatras are also showing 5, 8, 12, we're helping with showing 5, 8, 12, scattered leave with the planet, they are going to manifest that desire of yours. And if sub lord is also showing 8, 12, 5, the good combinations of love life, love affair, secret affairs, then this is also showing that this is becoming the taste which you are enjoying. So planets, nakshatras and sub lords, and they are nothing. They are the division of the zodiac's belt itself. When we see a lot of divisional charts, when we do classic Vedic astrology, 
divisional charts. What are the divisional charts? They are the division of the zodiac belt through your lagna chart into 10 half, 9 half, 60 half, 30 half. So those divisions are based on the, the zodiac belt of your lagna chart. And the nakshatras and sablo are the same thing. We are dividing your zodiac belt to go microscopic to understand what are the results, taste, desires you will experience in your life. This is how you learn the astrology. Understanding house combinations, understanding the bigger picture. You need to learn the classic Vedic astrology and then come to the Nadi astrology to understand the predictions and the events, the desires, the, the execution and activation of those houses and how the person will experience those things and when it will be manifested. This is what I teach. This is what I teach. If you want to learn astrology, stop reading books. Stop watching those, you know, uh, you know, videos which have no sense analysis paralysis. Come to me, learn from me. And again, I don't ask anyone to subscribe or like my video. All you are doing is, if you are using one of my techniques, any one of my techniques so far you have learned throughout my episodes, you are karmically indebted towards me. How you pay, it's up to you. You like it, you subscribe it, you donation, you charities, you, you make me your guru, you learn from me. This is entirely up to you. But we are talking karmas here. And we are serious here. You are using my techniques, learning things from me. You know what you are getting from me. And this is all karmas. You have to pay it back. No matter how. You do it now, next life, next life, next life. Up to you. Again, this is the story of the Manish once again. I will meet you in my next video very soon. Thank you. Please stay safe and please stay blessed.